Have you seen Star Wars? <laughs> It feels like it's been a long time that we've been talking about Star Wars Visions, and it's finally here, even though it hasn't made a big splash in the fandom just yet. It's just not released. I actually uh, woke up at 3 a.m. this morning, at least my time, to watch every episode of Star Wars Visions, because that's the exact time that it released, and there are nine episodes in total, with each episode varying in length. It can be 13 minutes, or it can be as long as 20 minutes, but in total the series is two and a half hours long. So watching this entire thing in one sitting is pretty much watching a new Star Wars movie. But today I want to give my initial review on this series, so please leave a like and support the channel, and subscribe for more content like this. With that out of the way, let's get into my thoughts on Star Wars Visions. Going into this, it was pretty apparent what this was going to be. It was going to be Star Wars, but with a different audience in mind, with a different genre in mind, and that would be anime and anime fans. Anime has grown in popularity over the years, and I remember being an anime fan probably back in the early 2000s, maybe early 2010s as well, uh, when this wasn't very popular. But now that it's grown so much in popularity, it's nice to bring in anime fans of the Star Wars series and the Star Wars franchise with this new Vision series and kind of have a crossover event, have a lot of anime fans and a lot of Star Wars fans bond over something like this. I won't go into too many details on the actual episodes themselves to avoid spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen them yet. I'll probably review the episodes later on and make videos and probably cover three of the episodes in each video, but anyways, some of these episodes were very powerful and some can be worthy of skipping. It depends on what you're looking for in these episodes and in the series. If you love anime, I think you're going to love this series. Each episode can remind you of an anime that you watched growing up or an anime that you're a fan of that's still out today, and each episode is different from each other that it does all feel unique and separate in story. The art, style, the tone, the music, even the pacing, they're all uniquely different from each other in terms of episodes, and I really like that. And I was surprised at the kind of different opinions that I have on each one. I thought they would all kind of mesh into one idea for me, or mesh into one, like, overall opinion, but there were some episodes that I was not even remotely looking forward to, and I absolutely loved. The Village of Pride, that was amazing. I never gave it a second look, but it became one of the most powerful episodes of the series. With that said, one of the episodes that I was really looking forward to, The Elder, I was kind of disappointed with. It's not bad, but in terms of where it ranks out of all nine episodes, it's kind of in the middle. It's not really something that was amazing. Uh, episodes like Tatooine Rasbity, that really took me back to my childhood and made me remember watching anime shows like Teen Titans on the weekends. And I think overall, that's what I would have to say this feels like to me. Star Wars Visions feels like Saturday morning cartoons set in Star Wars, but of course done with anime. And I think avoiding canon restrictions was honestly the best option for the series. The creators really went all out with their storytelling, and you can see where they pushed the envelope. We get more Sith and Dark Side stories in this two and a half hours than we've gotten from the movies over the past 40 years. They really let their creativity flow, and I absolutely love and adore that about this series. These are fan films signed, sealed, and delivered by Lucasfilm themselves, but will it receive that same approval from Star Wars fans? I think anime fans are going to give this two big thumbs up, but I really don't know about Star Wars fans. If you love Star Wars, then of course, watch this series. But I've seen some fans be very hesitant with this series since it's anime and they may not be into anime. And if you don't like anime, I'm not sure how you're going to like this series. I think you will like it. I'm not going to I'm not going to be positive about how much you're going to like this series. Anime can often be over the top and a little corny. Even darker anime series like Attack on Titan can have extremely corny moments that are typical in anime stories, but it has a nice appeal to it, and mixing that with Star Wars, it may feel a little silly to some fans mixing both, because Star Wars can be a little, little silly and a little corny and cute at times as well, so having both of these genres and their typical tropes mixed together may not be the best recipe for diehard Star Wars fans who aren't into anime, but I really think if you're into anime, you're going to like this regardless, and if you like anime and Star Wars, this is the series for you. But I think fans should overlook any negative aspects of the anime tropes. There are some of the most unique stories in Star Wars that are told in this series, and it's been a long time since we've had these kind of stories. The reason you will like some and dislike others is because the series really took a risk and challenged Star Wars in ways that hasn't been challenged before. Visions breaks down the typical barriers of Star Wars and adds a lot of Japanese culture to it. It's hard to find a single episode that does not have a moment where you take in the scenery or you see a crazy action sequence that can be breathtaking at times. I mean, there's a lot of moments where I'm watching the series and I just kind of forget that I'm watching a Star Wars series and I just get so 
into what's happening and so into the action visions breaks the star wars norms to show us a different perspective of the universe that we know and love and there's so many moments where you have this instinct to go back to what you know as normal star wars history and tropes with the sith the jedi the empire everything like like they will mention something and you'll be like oh well i know what that is and i know how this is going to go now and then it will completely break that norm time and time again but it's in the best ways it's in unique ways and it's not something that messes with your head cannon it just makes you go oh like that's really cool above all star wars visions is fun it's not anime fun but it's the star wars adventure style fun i will be adding the series to my list of shows that i'll put on the tv in the background noise or watch a few seconds during chores or homework anything like that this is something that i think will age pretty well each episode feels like it ends at the perfect time while some still leave you wanting to see more from their stories I've seen some people say that each episode of Visions feels like the pilot episode for its own series, like each episode is supposed to get its own series. I don't agree with that. I understand that sentiment. I don't think that was the case or the intention. I believe that this series is something that should continue. Yes, I, I do want a Star Wars Visions Season 2, and that's because some of these stories should be continued, and some of them don't need to be continued, and that's completely fine. Getting more seasons could continue certain stories while also bringing in new ones. We can have two to three seasons in total for Star Wars Visions, and certain story arcs can have two to three episode arcs across the entire series. This gives us the continuation of stories that we like, while also adding in more anime studios and stories that we didn't get in the first season or second season if we go to three. There is no word on a season two, but I think if the reaction to season one, Star Wars Visions, is strong enough, then maybe enough people will watch it, and if that's the case, season two likely wouldn't be far off. Lucasfilm does not seem against the idea of giving fans what they want recently, so if a lot of us are vocal enough for a second season, I think we'll get one. I do like Visions. I do want a season two, and I do think this was a unique story route for Lucas on the go right before we start 2022 which will be the year of live action Star Wars series which is getting like four or five of them so for my initial viewing I give Star Wars Visions an 8 out of 10. Episodes that I wasn't excited for left me in wonder with their beauty and intensity while their episodes that I was looking for sometimes fell a little flat and I like that about this series because it's not what I expected and it subverted my expectations if you will but either way Visions was a unexpected but very welcome addition to the Star Wars universe, and I would like more of it. But tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. What did you guys think of Star Wars Visions? Have you seen it yet? And if you have, tell me your thoughts. Please leave a like to support the channel and subscribe if you want to stay up to date on the latest news in Star Wars. I'm Star Wars Only. I will see you all next time, and may the Force be with you always.